know the pedal board out there doing some stuff that I'm that I'm doing the four acoustic now. Um, I the other thing that I, I notice about this, uh, I like to uh, kind of beat the guitar up a little uh, and, and get a little more resistance out of it. So I'm doing a lot of slapping and tapping and stuff and trying to hear the woods and trying to you know get all of the you know the thump and everything out of a guitar and. Uh, this cat just does that really well. I have several other, I, I use a lot of the Phil Jones stuff uh, before I got this particular unit and, and have some Mesa Boogie caps, have some polytone caps, have, <laughs> I'm a gear junkie, I am a gear junkie here. And uh, every, just about every pedal that JHS has made, uh, I'm using those and stuff, but when you, when you come down to just really wanting to uh, get a good, tone and Mark and I were playing with this a little earlier it doesn't take much to dial in and nice little ring it just has that uh, nice little uh, snap to it so why not play something for it? that'd be great Larry wanted me to feel right at home so he got me a Carmichael throne so I have Put some props out to the car, Michael. There you go. <laughs> Love these things. Well, I, I play upside down. I'm, I'm actually a self-taught musician, so uh, you're not going to learn much from me. You're going to want to hold up and, and listen to Mark <laughs> because I'm playing uh, upside down. I'm really right-handed, but I'm playing left-handed. The strings are upside down. I'm playing in a dagat tuning tonight. And... Uh, and I think that first string on here is a 14, so uh, wow. I, I like a little bit of resistance on a, an acoustic uh, when I play. Uh, I'll, I'll do a song called uh, Tribute to Phil. Phil Kage is one of my favorite guitarists that uh, I uh, kind of grew up watching and admiring and, and uh, just watching and listening to him. Got a chance to go hear him at the music hall and man he just blew my mind and uh, I got into I always was playing open tuning and then once once I got a chance to listen to Phil found out that he was just doing a gad dad tuning a DAD GAD and uh, I was like wow this is easy to do and you can get some really nice uh, jazz progression chords and stuff off of it as well so uh, that's why I've kind of stuck to I don't do any open uh, open tunings or any other alternative tunings other than gad gad and then uh, it, it allows yourself to get all kinds of harmonics. Any place, any place on the guitar, you don't even have to think about. Uh, you can go all over your guitar and just get stuff. So uh, this is called tribute to Phil.